Yep, I can see your screen. Awesome. All right. So if I'm going to do a docket search, uh, let's say I'm in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what, Harris, Harris County. Mm -hmm. I'm going to type in Harris County, the plus sign, docket search. Uh, plus sign, I meant to put the state in there too. And in that, well, the very first one. Uh, civil, click to get access to the records. And okay, so with Harris County, I just picked this out the blue. Uh, you have to, uh, I guess, create a uh, account. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I would create an account and I would get access to that. So just let's go with a different account. Let's go with. Uh, you can show me a county that you already worked recently so that maybe you can, yeah. or you have an account in. So it would all uh, come in, please. It's real slow, but basically it will take you. And you can just enter the case number there, right? Yeah, just enter the case number. Okay. Yeah, but it's, you know, that's. So oh, wh what information are you getting from the docket search? Basically, you're getting, the, you're trying to get them out. That was. So. Uh. So here, let's do this. So I guess it depends on the type of, to answer your question, the type of, if I got a case number, uh -huh. if I have a case number and I have to do a docket search, while I'm there, I'm going to do a, uh, uh, the check the most recent filings mm -hmm. and kind of see what's going on, make sure it's not a motion to release the funds been filed. And uh, if there is one already filed to uh, just open up that, open up that uh, document and uh, verify that it's on behalf of the person that's owed the money. Because sometimes you'll see a motion to be filed, and it's by uh, maybe the, the, uh, the a third party. Yeah, like a third party, like the homeowners association. It may be like uh, uh, somebody that had a small um, lien on a property or whatever. Um, but. Your your voice is going in and out, Keith. Oh, okay. Sorry, stepping sorry. Out. Got to make sure I have my mic next time for this. But okay. um, uh, yeah. So basically, I'll just uh, verify that a motion to release the funds haven't been filed for the person that's that 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 uh, unclaimed funds is owed to. Right. If it's filed, somebody else is already working on that file. Is that that what that means? Yes. Correct. Yeah. So, you know, uh, yeah. So that's, that's the actual process. If I'm doing now, if I'm doing a, if I have the parcel number uh -huh. and I'm doing a property search to, to get the address, uh, I'm, I'm basically going to skip that process of going and doing to check the actual docket. Um, because I don't want to take 
put that additional time on every single account that I'm looking up that some of them I'll never even have a right number for. So mm -hmm. um, uh, if I have a parcel number, I'm going to just do assume the money is there until I actually have a signed contract. And then once I have a signed contract, then I'll take those uh, that extra time to go back and do a docket search, see what's actually going on with that. And, um, uh, you know, so, uh, of course, get an attorney once I've done my due diligence. So quick question to you. So if you have a case number, it's pretty, you know, clear, you go into the docket, and you search what the excess funds are, if the motion to release funds was filed, and all of the good stuff. Right. If you just if you just have a parcel number, you and you don't have a case number, in that case, you don't know if somebody has actually filed it or not. Right? Right, right. So you just go through the process of uh, skip tracing the owner and just sending a letter for those in those situations? Yeah, because what I do know is once I get that person on the phone. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm assuming that, that I'm calling, them, right? Because that's always my number one is making a phone call to okay. contact them. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm going to find out if they started that process mm -hmm. within 60 seconds. At right. Most, right. Opposed to the 20 to 30 minutes it would have took me to you know get everything I need to find that case number and once get in the case go and looking through doing all that stuff. So um I much rather go that route. I much rather sign somebody that I can't close than miss right. out on somebody I could have closed. Right, right, right. Um and you don't up apply that same logic for um cases with a case number because information is readily available and you can just look it up online and just ignore that file and skip that file and go to the next one. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and it happens. Yep. Right. So when you look and doing those by the case number, you'd be like, man, some of those big ones that you was licking your chops for, you know, <laughs> uh, and, and what, I, but, you know, tree, what I do find is when that is the case, uh -huh. they actually had an attorney. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, if they don't have an attorney, that yeah. that money gonna be sitting there. Right. Right. Okay. All right, let me get my. I'll work on getting the list once I get it, and I'll try to do the case search, case number search in the judiciary, oh. and uh, I'll keep you posted. And um, I, I I give one. I want other person who's on the call to ask their questions. Awesome. Well, thanks for jumping on, man. You always have great questions. Thank you. Hey, Zoe, if you could uh, unmute your mic. <clears throat> I actually don't have any questions. I'm just trying to, you know, get back in, listen to what other people have. That way, when I do have time to do something, if I run into those issues, I already got an answer for it. Trying to stay prepared, even though I ain't right. doing anything. Right. Awesome, man. That's what you want to do. Just marinate yourself in in this in the energy, man. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying. <laughs> Put myself in the energy that way. I can when I am able to do something. Like I already got enough thoughts in my head. I've already listened to enough. I got the golden gems I picked up. Like other people ask questions that I haven't even thought of type situation. Awesome. 